Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the Western Centurion channel and part three of uh, the videos that I'm doing on the Megapoint uh, controller system and uh, in this video we have two new boards okay uh, the first board we'll look at is this one on the right which is the frog and relay driver board um, now this is the board that we'll be using in conjunction with the DCC adapter board to drive these um, relays. Now this relay board has four relays uh, situated on it and these on the um, relay driver board it's these three blocks of connectors that we'll be using. Uh, so say this first block here of connectors will drive one relay board with four relays on. Uh, this second block here will drive another board with four relays on and the third connector bo uh, block here will drive a third relay board with four uh, relays on so that is 12 relays in total that we can operate using this one board um, it's got a couple of buttons on here up down now we won't be using those today uh, primarily because at this precise moment I have no idea what they do <laughs> Uh, but we don't need them for what we're going to be um, doing in the video. Uh, obviously we've got our 12 volt DC in and again um, like the other two boards you've got the rectifier on the back so it doesn't matter what polarity you put the wires in. Um, we'll also be using the network connectors here uh, so we can either have one of these going to the uh, servo controller board and the other going to the DCC adapter. Uh, board. Okay, um, now there's some very important things to look out for when we're connecting these two up uh, and that's getting the correct orientation uh, between these connectors here which is for the uh, uh, servo board, sorry, the relay board to the uh, frog and relay driver board. Now here in the, on the left it will say ground okay and on the far right it will say I think that's VOC but that is basically what we will call the positive side and then there's four pins in the middle now these are numbered uh, in one in two in three in four um, now uh, six pins all in together and on the uh, frog relay driver board there's six pins as well and they are numbered well you've got the positive and the minus at the bottom and numbered one two three four uh, same on this row, you've got positive at the top, minus at the bottom, but these are 5, 6, 7, 8. And the third row, you have plus top, minus bottom, then 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's for your 12 relays that we can operate. So what we'll be looking at on this one is to connect the ground here on the far left to the ground here on the bottom of the relay driver board. And the positive on the right of the uh, relay board to the top of the uh, uh, frog relay driver board and then the four in the middle will connect to the four on here now you've just got to make sure you get them right so in one we'll have to go to uh, number one on here in two we'll have to go to number two on here and uh, so forth so three and four we'll have to go to three and four on there get that right and uh, it will work perfectly okay um, one of the other things is obviously with the relay boards we've got to have I think what's called an opto um, sensors in which are these four little black parts here all right so when looking to buy these relay boards um, that's what you need to make sure that they have these little devices on not sure why or what it does but apparently they are required um, and the other thing I'll try and show you, if I just turn this relay board round, is the wiring up on the back here, because obviously uh, this, these connections here, so we've got three here for that relay, these three here for that relay, and the same obviously for here. So each relay has three connections on the back. Um, looking at these little lines here, can be a bit baffling and confusing, saying, well, what are those then? Well, these are the three, each line here represents one of the connections or one of the screws in here, okay? Now this here on the right, you can see it's a complete solid line 
that goes from the middle up and down into here. Now that is what they class as uh, normally closed. Okay, this line here comes up and along and doesn't go anywhere and that's what they call normally open so when this relay because it is just a switch which is operated by um, electromagnet inside you, you power when well, you give it power the electromagnet will activate and move the contact to the opposite side so in the state that this relay is now with no power if you were to put something in here and there a continuity test you'd get um, uh, some continuity because those that is switched into that state but you wouldn't from this one to that one because it is actually open there's no contact being made inside but as soon as you put power to it and a signal command it to switch it will it will move from uh, there and there to there and there and make a contact now this is how we're going to operate the frogs okay so the frog wire will go into the middle here because that is either um, connected to this side or to that side and then in this one we'll put um, the positive and on that side we'll put the negative or I, we might be able to do it the other way around but this is the way I've been doing it um, so yeah so basically uh, we have power going into here we have um, power into this side and all that happens is that depending on which way the point goes when the point turns it will switch from here to there or it will switch from there to there and that will mean that we get the um, uh, the negative and the positive power going in and up the frog wire to the frogs on the turnout god I hope that makes sense it's like <laughs> it's one of those things you know it in your head but to try and explain it is is a little bit diff difficult but um, yeah I, I hope that managed to uh, get your head around it <laughs> like it did for me okay um, so what I'll do now I'll get them wired up and I'll get all three relay boards in place and yeah get them all connected and then we'll see where we go from there okay catch you again in a moment bye bye hi everyone and uh, welcome back and here we have everything set in place that we need to um, actuate the turnouts and set the polarity of the electro frogs um, the correct way for proper operation uh, so here on the right we have the DCC adapter board um, which is connected via the network uh, connector and wires to the network connector on the frog relay board uh, just remembering of course to get those in the correct order and then on the second uh, set of network connectors we've got a connect, uh, network wiring going over to the network connector on the servo controller board and again just making sure we've got the wiring in the correct orientation uh, and that finally just leaves us with having the uh, frogs uh, relay board connected to the relay board itself via these six pins okay and again just have a take time to have a look at what's what's written on there and down here and just make sure they're corrected or connected in the correct orientation again it's very easy to do um, so you shouldn't have any problem at all um, right what I did mention uh, earlier was about the the uh, uh, the way these relays work so we have as I said we have the uh, normally closed uh, normally open on the right and the one in the middle is actually called the common all right so uh, what I have here I have my multimeter and it's set for continuity testing all right so I can show you what I was trying to say so if I put this on the normally closed connector and then we touch the middle one the normal common there's continuity that's because that is closed so whatever comes in here will come out there at the middle okay um, so if I go and actuate point four which is this one here you will hear a click from the 
relay and a little red LED will light up. There we are, and the servo will move. So that has now told me, that little red LED tells me that the relay is now uh, gone from the normally closed position to the normally open position. So again, if we put one probe onto the middle common and the other probe on the normally open on the right, we've got continuity. Brilliant. So yeah, you get power in on the, on the left and power in on the right. And depending on which way that switch is, you'll always get the power to go out the middle, the common. Okay, so that's how we transfer the negative or the positive on the, uh, to the electro frogs, depending on which way the points turn. Okay, so I'll go and put that back um, into the normally closed position. So believe it or not, that is basically it. That is all we have to do. This is now ready and set up to go on the layout. Um, but I'll just run through them all again, okay? So obviously you can see I've got Railmaster up on the screen. Um, if I click on point one, servo one will move and relay one will go from normally closed to normally open. So, and servo two and relay two is activated servo 3 and relay 3 is activated and servo 4 and relay 4 is activated so you can see we now have all four LEDs on and all four of those uh, relays are now in the normally open position okay and we'll just put them back to the way they were before And that's it folks, that is how the Megapoint uh, controller system using the DCC adapter, the uh, frog relay driver board and the uh, servo controller boards work in conjunction with the um, relay board itself and Railmaster. Okay, um, what I'll do, I'll just close this bit of the video off by wiring up or connecting up the turnout that I, I made previously and you've seen in one of the earlier videos to the servo controller board and then we can see that operating and how the voltage goes from left to right depending on how or for the electro frogs depending on which way you've got the turnouts pointing okay so back in a moment Okay, so I've now I've actually moved the relay board up next to the turnout just so we can have that in the picture. You can see the turnout move and um, the multimeter. So at the moment we've got the points are going on a set at straight through, and we're showing um, about 13 and a half volts. All right. Uh, so what I'll do I'll go and change uh, the turnout to go to the right. Okay. So we should see the little red LED here light up, hear the relay click, and see the points change. All right? And on the left, keep an eye on the voltage. Now, it will show something. It might show 22 points something or something like that. But bear in mind, that is actually millivolts. So there'll be an M in front of the, the V, so, which is hardly anything. All right? There. So the relay is now actuated, the turnout has turned to the uh, move to the left which now, if you've got a loco running, will go off to the right. And we're now down to um, 22.3 millivolts which, which is nothing at all. So basically there's now no power going to the uh, relay, where are we just getting the camera just here on this side of the track, there's no there's no power to here and if I switch it I'll try to bring the camera out a bit there what I'm trying to say is that obviously I've got connectors at the top here so I've got the positive here on the left and the negative here on the right so this is the uh, electro frog section here and this is the one we want to power either power this one 
or power that one depending on uh, which direction we want the points to go. And there, we move it back through to straight through, so now the points are going straight on and we're back up to 13 point, what, 13 and a half volts. And there we are, that's it. As it really is as simple as that. Uh, it takes a bit of time to get your head around it at the very, very start, but uh, once you do, it's, oh, I won't quite say it's like riding a bike, <laughs> but um, yeah, you just keep playing about with it and, and the more you'll get used to it and the easier it will be to understand how it all works. All right, so um, that's it. I think the next video I'm going to try and get done today is uh, how I set the relays onto the, uh, or not the relays, but set the servos up on the baseboard with the turnouts. Okay, so I hope you look forward to that. Catch you later. Bye-bye.